buy direct and save on bandsaw blades at grizzly.com. Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. If you'd like to build your own version of my lamp, you can click on this link and it'll take you to my website where you can download the plans for a small fee. And before I start the video, I want to let you guys know that I've started a Patreon page. So if you've ever wanted to contribute to what I do here, now you can. I have a few different levels of contribution set up on my Patreon page, so I hope you guys, after the video, will go there and consider being a Patreon of Garage Woodworks. I have some pieces of scrap four-quarter cherry from my lumber rack that will be perfect for this lamp. The first thing I'm going to do is chop this up into rough length sections, flatten one face, and then plane them to thickness. If you have a board that has a little bit of a warp to it, like this one, when you place it on the joiner, you want it so that it doesn't rock. So put the face down that causes the least amount of rock, and that's this one here. Now that I have all the pieces plain to thickness, I'm going to square one edge of the joiner, and then I'm going to rip them to their final width. Now I need to cut all of the pieces to their final length. And I need to cut each end at 84.8 degrees. Uh, why 84.8? That's just what it came out to be when I was designing this thing in CAD. I was moving pieces around uh, to get it so that it looked pleasing to the eye. And that's just what the angle came out to be. The next two pieces I'm gonna to cut to length next are gonna be the bottom rail and the leg support that's gonna get half lapped onto that bottom rail. In order to cut the top rail to the right length, I went ahead and temporarily clamped the piece together and I have the, right, the correct angle cut on one of the sides of the top rail and I'm just going to butt it up against the side of the piece and with a marking knife, I'll mark the correct length. temporarily clamp the piece together so you can get a feel for what it's going to look like. The next thing I need to do is start working on the foot and this is going to get half lapped into this bottom rail. I'll do that next. While it's not a completely necessary step because you're never going to see the bottom of these dados, but I'm going to clean it up with a chisel. I'm going to work on the joinery next, and for that I'm going to use floating tenons. And to make all the ingrain mortises and all the pieces, I'm going to use my horizontal mortise. This will become the loose tenon stock. All I need to do now is plant it the thickness and round over all the edges. I took my loose tenon stock almost to the thickness that I need at the planer and I'll take it to its final thickness using my drum sander. I need to drill a hole in the top rail to receive the hardware, which is going to support the lamp, and I'll do that at my drill press. I need to make a slot in the bottom of the support foot for the lamp cord to come out, and I'm going to do that with a quarter inch spiral bit, and I'm going to do it in two passes, and on the second pass, I'm going to raise the height of the bit. Now 
Now I can glue the foot to the bottom rail. And this hole I just made is where the lamp cord will exit out of the bottom of the lamp. Next thing I need to do is make a connection between the hole in the bottom of the lamp and this channel for the lamp cord. And I'll just get the rest of this with a chisel. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my lamp build. And remember, if you'd like to build your own, I have a set of very detailed plans that you can download and you can build your own. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, guys.